Sports News Update. Good afternoon and thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Maya Holloway with your Midday Arkhamus Update. Starting off, the Morehouse Parish School Board selected a new superintendent at last night's meeting. Jesse Winston will be the new superintendent. He says his plan is to address the needs of students in the school district as well as preparing them for academic success. Uh, counselors in elementary schools, especially since COVID, a lot of our students have needs, and so uh, we need to make sure that we address those needs so that if we take care of their social emotional learning, then they'll be better prepared for academic success. I to say thank everyone and pray for me that we'll do the right thing. Winston has been a part of the school system for nearly 28 years and will officially begin his, his term on January 1st of 2025. And a Tallulah student has been selected to be a National Youth Ambassador for the Tobacco Free Kids. Jaslyn Barnett will join 20 other young leaders nationwide prom to promote policies to help produce and pro reduce and prevent tobacco use among students. During a trip to the 2023 Youth Advocacy Symposium and Ambassador Cohort, Jaslyn further owned her skills and will engage directly with legislatures and decision makers. Congratulations, Jaslyn. And moving into some crime news, in the courts, the man accused of robbing a Ravel pharmacy and then killing a Mangum police officer has been found guilty. A Richland Parish jury convicted Hernandez Simeon for the first-degree murder of Officer Marshall Waters and the armed robbery of Yancey's Pharmacy. The incident happened in October of 2020 when Simeon held the owner of Yancey's Pharmacy at gunpoint. He then stole a truck, electronic devices, and drugs from the pharmacy. After leaving the scene, Simeon was pulled over by Mingham Officer Waters. Simeon shot the officer in the abdomen and the officer later died. Simeon was arrested in Franklin Parish shortly after. And Simeon has not been sentenced, but he could face life in prison. And switching gears to the state capitol, Governor Jeff Landry signed an executive order directing the Board of Regents to make policies to ensure the freedom of speech is protected. The governor, alongside some students and legislatures, claimed that some ideological viewpoints are not welcomed on college campuses. He points to talks for some conservative speakers ultimately being canceled by some schools, as well as major protests taking place there. For many, 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 many years, for decades, have been an institution under which people had the ability to enjoy dialogue and civil discussions that has seemed to change. Where only one set of ideology seems to be able to be the predominant voice while other voices have seemed to be shamed. There is already a similar policy in place for the board to send a report on these issues to the governor. LSU released a statement after his speech saying they welcome all voices to be heard on campus. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We'll continue to see lots of sunshine for this afternoon. We're quite pleasant if you've got any afternoon plans. Temperatures will be holding out mainly in the mid-80s for daytime highs. Winds continue to stay northerly as the slightly drier and cooler air mass settles into place. And then overnight, we will be trending much cooler, though. We could see some mid to lower 50s in South Arkansas, mid to upper 50s across northeast Louisiana. And we will be a little chilly into early tomorrow morning, so you're definitely going to want that jacket for your morning commute tomorrow. Now, as we go into tomorrow afternoon, these temperatures are going to be back up to the mid-upper 80s, trending a little bit warmer as winds start to return a bit more suddenly for some locations further south. They'll be mainly calm though we won't have that northerly breeze through tomorrow and throughout the rest of the week as we start to see rain chances begin to increase as we do have an upper level low which will push in out of south Texas and you can see we'll start to have some rain chances Friday into the start of the weekend. Bending low about 57 degrees for tonight definitely trending a lot cooler than through tomorrow temperatures they'll be kind of back to the mid and upper 80s kind of like how we have been earlier in the week as we continue the sunshine and then Friday onwards start of the weekend. A chance for a few patchy shower thunderstorms lasting through Saturday and then by Sunday. Clouds will still linger. We're still a little bit above average though in the upper 80s and then a weak front looking to arrive later on next week as we clear out and we will fall back to lower 80s Tuesday and Wednesday staying seasonal and pleasant overall. Lows will be kind of in the mid 60s but then falling to mid to upper 50s by Monday and Tuesday night. Well that's it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues. Have a great day. When you see news happening, call the NBC 10 Fox 14 News Hotline, 812-1410.